Hello aviators. I welcome you on board flight of Captain Vijay where I teach you things which as a pilot you should know. On 8 December 2021, Chief of Defence Staff Bipin Rawat died in a helicopter crash near Kunnur in Tamil Nadu. Special disorientation of pilot due to low clouds in mountain was found to be the cause of the accident by code of inquiry. A large number of flying accidents and fatal crashes in aviation has been caused due to spatial disorientation leading to loss of control and CFIT. Today we will fly through the topic of spatial disorientation. In this video we will learn what is spatial disorientation, what are the types of spatial disorientation, levels of spatial disorientation and what are the preventive measures for the pilots so fasten your seat belts as we are ready for takeoff before knowing disorientation let us know what is orientation orientation is our natural ability to orientate our body and posture in relation to environment at rest and during motion Humans are designed and have evolved over thousands of years to keep orientation on ground but not in the air. Spatial disorientation is defined as an erroneous sense of position, attitude, altitude, motion of oneself or one's aircraft in relation to a three-dimensional coordinate system defined by the surface of the earth and the gravitational vertical. To summarize it is an illusionary or false sense of position attitude and motion or to put it in simpler words the perception is different from reality and just to demonstrate an example of how perception and reality can be different look at the image on the screen so did you notice that your eyes were feeding wrong information to your mind that is an example of sd from now onwards we will call spatial disorientation as SD in rest of the video. So how does our body orientate itself? We orientate in our environment with the help of three set of organs and which are called orientation triad. This orientation triad consists of eyes, vestibular organs and muscle joints. 90% of our orientation comes from our vision through eyes. Then through vestibular organs in our inner ears which perceives linear and angular acceleration like an inertial nerve system and it contributes 5%. And the last is through skin, muscle and joints which is also known as seat of the pant feeling by pilots and it contributes the rest 5% in orientation. So let us discuss the components of orientation triad one by one. First is vision. Vision is the most important of all the senses of orientation on the ground and in the air. And I, as I stated earlier, it is responsible for 90% of all orientation cues. And we all know very well that we cannot walk in a straight line blindfolded. Second is vestibular organs. The vestibular organs is about the size of a pea in the inner ear. Vestibular organ has two components, semicircular canals and otolith organs. Three semicircular canals which are at 90 degree to each other are responsible for detecting angular acceleration and otolith organ detects the linear acceleration. So semicircular canal can sense angular acceleration as low as decimal 0 0.5 degree per second square and otolith organ can sense linear acceleration of less than decimal 0 0.1 g. Both semicircular canal and otolith organ use the hair cells to detect angular and linear acceleration respectively. The last is kinesthetic or proprioceptive receptors. 
A variety of sensory endings in the skin, joints, muscles and ligaments are stimulated mechanically and are influenced by the forces acting on the body. And this is also called the seat of the pants sensation. So when we get specially disoriented, any one of the triad or all of them combined is feeding an incorrect information to our brain which does not match the reality. So let us see the illusions one by one. And before discussing the fancy names of these illusions, let's go through the meaning of some terms. First is somato. Somato means body or bodily. Oculo. Oculo means eyes. Gravic related to gravity and gyral related to rotation. We'll discuss the visual illusions first. First is shape constancy. The pilot uses the shape of various objects, for example, the runway, to get a perspective of his position in space above the runway. If the runway slopes upwards or downwards, this perspective gets changed. So when landing on an upsloping runway, pilot feels that he is high on approach and so tends to get shallow on approach. And the down sloping runway leads the pilot making a higher than normal approach. So that was shape constancy. Next is size constancy. Size of an object is extremely important in judging distances. During landing, if runway width is comparatively smaller, the pilot will flare late and low. And if runway width is comparatively higher, then he'll flare out high. Visual autokinesis. The apparent wandering of an object or a light when viewed against a dark background is called autokinesis. A bright star may be seen as moving in a circle or moving linearly. And generally this makes the pilot feel that there is a traffic ahead in night whereas it is just a star light years away. So the pilot should avoid staring at solitary lights for more than few seconds. Black hole approach. The black hole illusion is produced during night landings when there are no references along the approach path except for runway lights. The pilot feels that he is high on approach and tends to correct for it and finally lands up short of runway. But if he refers to Papi, he can identify that he is low on approach. Illusions which are created by vestibular organs can be either stimulated by semicircular canal or otolith organs. So semicircular canal stimulated illusions are suffixed with the word gyral since gyral means rotation and semicircular canal deals with sensing of rotation. Otolith organ stimulated illusions are suffixed with the word gravic since they measure linear acceleration in horizontal and vertical plane. Gravic is related to gravity. SD stimulated by otholith organs are called somatogravic illusions. So what is somatogravic illusions? Sudden acceleration of the aeroplane gives a false climbing sensation and sudden deceleration gives a false descending sensation. Whenever you hear the term prefixed with word oculo, that means it is related to vision. So oculographic illusion is vision counterpart of somatographic illusion. This illusion results in perception that the instrument panel has moved up during acceleration or it has moved down during deceleration. HD stimulated by semicircular canals are called somatogyral illusion. And the first of somatogyral illusion is leans. The leans. It is the most common vestibular illusion and most of the pilots experience this in their flying career. This phenomena is basically an illusion of bank when one is flying straight and level. Let us understand leans with an example. Suppose a pilot is manually flying an aeroplane with wings level. 
his attention gets diverted and gradually aeroplane banks to the left at a slow rate of less than 2 degree per second this slow rate of turn is not perceived by the semicircular canal since it is below the sensing threshold with left wing low the pilot is feeling as if it is wings level since the slow rate of banking was not sensed by the semicircular canals now after a while the pilot's attention goes to the primary flight display and he notices that there is a bank to the left so he abruptly returns to straight and level flight but this time rolling rate is normal and is sensed by the semicircular canal so he interprets that there is a bank to the right but the instruments indicate wings level the pilot resolves this situation by leaning to the opposite side that is to the left aircraft is flying straight and level wings level and the pilot is leaned to the left because his body is feeling that the aircraft is banked to the right and that is why it is called leans next sd in the category of somatogyral is graveyard spiral graveyard spiral is a situation which is at the beginning it is similar to leans but here pilot instead of flying the aeroplane straight and level and lean to one side tries to resolve this his feeling of right bank by rolling left and finally ends up in a uncontrolled spiral since excess bank to the left will result in descent and descent will cause the pilot to pull, pull back on the control column and backward force on the stick with the left wing down will further increase the rate of descent and finally the aeroplane will enter a spiral so that is why it is called graveyard spiral the next is graveyard spin the graveyard spin is an illusion that can occur to a pilot who intentionally or unintentionally enters a spin for a for example a pilot who enters a spin to the left will initially have a sensation of spinning in the same direction however if the left spin continues the pilot will have a sensation that the spin is progressively decreasing at this point if the pilot applies right rudder to stop the left spin the pilot will suddenly sense a spin in the opposite direction and that is to the right if the pilot believes that the airplane is spinning to the right the response will be to apply left rudder to counteract the sensation of a right spin however by applying left rudder the pilot will unknowingly re-enter the original left spin this is what is called graveyard spin the next is coriolis illusion it is an abnormal sensation of tumbling in space by pilots when more than one set of semicircular canals are stimulated simultaneously it happens when during a turn if you move your head diagonally upwards or downwards in this case you get a rolling pitching and yawing sensation all of them together so that was all about the sd stimulated by the semicircular canals one of the rare sd which has been experienced by a few pilots in the past is called giant hand phenomena this disorientation type is very special since the exact cause of this is not known in this sd a pilot feels that while he is trying to make roll pitch changes to the aeroplanes with enough force but there is a giant hand which is stopping the controls to move he feels that the controls are jammed or not working altogether whereas there is nothing wrong with the aeroplane this is what is called a giant hand phenomena so having seen different categories of spatial disorientation now let us discuss the types of sd or you can also say levels of sd sd are of three types type 1 type 1 sd is where pilots get disoriented but he does not recognize and as such leading to wrong decisions and accidents 
टाइप टू एस डी हेयर द पायलट नोज दैट ही इज डिसोरेंटेड एंड ही टेक्स करेक्टिव एक्शन टाइप थ्री एस डी हेयर द स्पेशल डिसोरेंटेशन इज रिकग्नाइज बाई द पायलट बट द पायलट इज इनकेपेसिटेटेड टू टेक एनी करेक्टिव एक्शन एंड दिस इनकेपेसिटेशन मे बी साइकोलॉजिकल फिजियोलॉजिकल और फिजिकल इन नेचर प्रिवेंशन प्रिवेंशन ऑफ स्पेशल डिसोरेंटेशन देर हैज टू बी अ स्ट्रैटेजी टू काउंटर एस डी फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट इज अवेयरनेस एंड ट्रेनिंग इन सिमुलेटर्स अवेयरनेस एज आई एम स्प्रेडिंग एंड यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो वाइल्ड फ्लाइंग फॉलो दीज टाइम टेस्टेड प्रिंसिपल्स बिलीव इन इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स गेट ऑन टू इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स बिफोर गेटिंग आई एम सी रोल इन एंड रोल आउट रेट्स मस्ट बी स्मूथ एंड स्टडी हेड मूवमेंट शुड बी स्मूथ एंड इन वन प्लेन एट ए टाइम एंड इफ यू हैव एंडेड अप इन स्पेशल डिसोरेंटेशन देन यू मस्ट बिलीव इन योर इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स इंगेज ऑटो पायलट हैंड ओवर कंट्रोल्स टू को पायलट इफ अवेलेबल टॉक टू एयर ट्रैफिक कंट्रोलर एंड ट्राई एंड गेट टू वी एम सी कंडीशन एज सुन एज पॉसिबल हैविंग सीन सो मेनी पॉसिबल टाइप्स ऑफ डिसोरेंटेशन वन मे गेट ए फीलिंग दैट द पायलट्स एक्सपीरियंस दैम इन डे टू डे फ्लाइंग बट फॉर्चुनेटली दैट इज नॉट द केस एज वी हैव लर्न दैट आवर आईज कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट नाइंटी परसेंट इन मेंटेनिंग ओरिएंटेशन सो एज लॉन्ग एज द विजुअल क्यूज आर अवेलेबल एंड इट इज विजुअल मेट कंडीशन और डे फ्लाइंग विद गुड विजिबिलिटी आउटसाइड द क्लाउड्स देर आर ऑलमोस्ट नील चांसेस ऑफ गेटिंग स्पेशली डिसोरेंटेड ड्यू टू मिस परसेप्शन और रॉन्ग इंटरप्रटेशन ऑफ सेमी सर्कुलर कैनाल्स एंड ऑथोलित ऑर्गन्स द पायलट्स आर मोस्ट वलरेबल टू डिसोरेंटेशन इन इंस्ट्रूमेंट मेट कंडीशन पुअर विजिबिलिटी क्लाउडिंग एंड ड्यूरिंग नाइट फ्लाइंग सो होप दिस वीडियो इज हेल्प यू इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग द टॉपिक ऑफ एस डी टाइप्स ऑफ एस डी लेवल्स ऑफ एस डी एंड पायलट स्ट्रैटेजी टू प्रिवेंट लॉस ऑफ कंट्रोल ओवर एरोप्लेन वाइल इन एस डी विद दिस वी हैव अराइव एट आर डेस्टिनेशन सब्सक्राइब द चैनल फॉर मोर सच इन्फॉर्मेटिव वीडियोज ऑन एविएशन डो नॉट फॉरगेट टू कमेंट बिलो अबाउट हाउ डी डू लाइक द वीडियो और इफ यू वॉन्ट मी टू कवर ए स्पेसिफिक टॉपिक सो होप टू सी यू ऑन बोर्ड अगेन फॉर द नेक्स्ट फ्लाइट Till then happy landings